I found a real simple recipe for shawarma. And um, here's some of the spices that we're going to use. But I am, well, actually, I don't know why I'm saying where, because it's going to be me who's making this. But I am going to make some shawarma. I really miss the taste of it. I really enjoy getting this from the street vendors when I was in Saudi Arabia. So I'm going to give it a go on my own and see how it comes out. calls for, I start off with so again, it calls for ground cardamom and we don't have any ground cardamom, we have the cardamom pods. So I'm going to stick a couple of these into here and ground them up so we'll have that. And so that's where we're going to start. Okay, so I ground up the coriander cardamom a little bit. Actually, yeah, this is cardamom. And these are the, the husks from it. And this is the cardamom. But boy, this stuff will not grind easy. So it is what it is. We're going to live with it like it is. It does smell absolutely amazing. Okay, one clove of garlic minced. And all of these guys, it calls for a full tablespoon of each one of them. And we're going to put this with the coriander and the garlic in here and then the chicken. The only ingredient we're not putting a full tablespoon in is the cayenne pepper. While I like my food spicy, Ruthie does not. So out of respect for her, I'm only going to put in a quarter tablespoon. I actually think this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So we're at this point marinade chicken so we've combined all the ingredients in a large ziploc bag add the cheese seal and massage from the outside with your hands to make sure each piece is coated marinate 24 hours minimum three hours the yogurt sauce we won't make until tomorrow and then we'll barbecue them and i got a small grill that i'll heat up and i'll barbecue the stuff right on the grill so maybe we'll cook it in the stove we'll see that yeah, looks good but so far it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad as I was as I was putting this stuff together, I didn't think I would have enough spices in there to cover the chicken. I think that's about two pounds of chicken. Not a hundred percent sure. And it sounds in the in back of me. That's Ruth. She's cooking some stuff too. She's making um. What are you making? Muffins. You're making muffins. Okay. Well, that's the phone. I'm gonna go get it. But the chicken looks good. That's gonna marinate for 24 hours in the refrigerator. Well, this morning I went in to check on the uh, lettuce and the tomatoes for our shawarma and discovered much to my amazement I only had one tomato and we ate that with lunch and the lettuce was brown and wilty. If I'm going to make shawarma I want good lettuce and some nice tomatoes. So we're out here in this weather, this beautiful beautiful snowy weather. I'm gonna walk up three quarters of a mile to the Valley Market and get our lettuce and tomatoes. Gorgeous walk though. My walk back, man, that's so pretty. So now I'm making the, and I started out with so, I'm making the sauce and I'm grilling the chicken. Now this originally had its own audio, but I had a television show playing on the background and I didn't think it was appropriate to have it in this video. It wasn't a bad show, it was Family Matters. Um, but I removed it anyway. So, but that chicken looks pretty darn good. ready to be served. Now what you do, Ruthie, is you take, you have your flatbread there. Here's the sauce, the, the sauce, so yeah, the sauce. And you put the sauce on the bread. Then you put the meat on the bread. 
Then you put the vegetables you want on top of it. Now the recipe didn't call for cucumbers, but I swear to goodness, when I had them in Saudi Arabia, I could have swore they had cucumbers in them, but the cucumbers should add flavor to them. So let's do this. Oh, and also in Saudi Arabia, they wouldn't have had alcoholic drinks with it, but I like the, uh, the apple cider. So I'm gonna let you put yours together first. Well, go for it. Just kind of spread it on there. Yeah, that's it. And then here's for the different, the meats. Yeah, and you may only need one um, to fill you up. But if you need more, while I don't have flatbread, I do have pita bread. We can put it on pita bread. So that'll work. We also have taco shells. I'm sure it'll work on those too. Yeah, put a little bit of meat in there. Put, put a little more if you want. Put as much as you want in there. So that's going to be big because you're going to kind of roll it up and eat it. And then, yep. A little bit of vegetables. It's kind of like we're eating a taco. You know how we make the tacos and we put all the ingredients down on the table for the tacos. Yep. And there's still more out in the kitchen. So... We'll have some for lunch tomorrow, although tomorrow we'll have to eat it on um, on pita bread when we make it. So my suggestion is heat the chicken a little bit and then just put the rest of it on. I'm going to take some to work with me. <laughs> kind of roll. That's darn huge. Look at that thing. It's huge. I have no idea how she's going to roll it up. But let's see how she manages it. Go for it, Ruth. Go for it, my girl. Oh, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from the bounty through Christ our Lord, amen. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There you go. Give it a go, Ruth. Pick it up and give it a go. I think you just pick it up and roll it. You're going to try the meat first. How is it? You like it? It's not too spicy, is it? I cut down the... the um, the chili to one quarter instead of one half but yeah looks like it's a little hard for her to eat but she seems to be enjoying it so I'm gonna make mine now okay so this is what my shawarma looks like and I'm gonna give it a go of lifting it up rolling it and trying to eat it here we are rolling it up oh like that yeah that'll work now we take a bite into it to see how it is Mmm. 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 That was a big bite I took. It's good shawarma. It's not as good as what I used to get in Saudi Arabia, but it's good. It'll do. Thank you, Ruth.